Hi there folks, uh, back in the lab again. You guys remember this bulletin board and all that stuff. Eddie's next to me. Um, so here's how it goes. This is a commercially available graphene product uh, from XG Science, I believe it is, um, or one of those companies. I, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, or, well, who cares? Anyway, and then this is what we were making before in small batches, and this is one of the, that cake that we just got. I just got it dried out uh, using the vacuum oven and all that good stuff and, and some other <laughs> techniques. Uh, so here's the fluke. And we are going to just, this is, this is all we're going to do, is take the probes like this and put it together. So it's about 1.5 centimeters is the gap on the distance for the powder. Now this is not super scientific, don't, you know, don't take this as like, you know, whatever. It's just a bar of reference, you know, um, so that you can understand how good the powders conduct. Uh, and this, this is the XG Sciences stuff, and it will put roughly... Uh, right around 2 point something K ohms of resistance. That's just what it does. And, you know, it is what it is. Then, the stuff that we've been making in small batches uh, that we were having, like one to three layer graphing, and it was very, very good, uh, mind you that, some of the best that you can buy. And if you put it in there, you'll get, well, it'll... It'll bounce up and down, but we'll get it, we'll get it. It usually cruises right there around 50 to 60, somewhere in there. There you go. You're getting a little average. There's a way to set up the fluke for average conductivity, you know, so it doesn't overload. Because, you know, you're holding it and you're wiggling it, and it'll jump up and down. Anyway, so you see that. Now this is our new stuff from the big machine. And it has a little less jump, but it, it gets down there around 25 ohms. And that's just a powder. Uh, if you do it to graphite, you're going to get about 200 ohms of resistance. Uh, just for that, that simple, same little test right there, just dunking it in there. It's very, very, very neat, to say the least, because this is the process that we were thinking, and we've done some tests already, AFM and, and imaging tests, where we're getting around one layer 100%. And that is also matching the scale of the one to three because it's this is one to three, remember, and there's a dispersion curve. There's always a bell curve. But this one, the bell curve is like slammed over there and it's just almost all one layer. I mean, between 90 and 100%, but actually leaning more on the 100% one layer. So, there you go. And enjoy.